everyone, Tony here for the Civ Sim Show. Welcome back to another exciting War Thunder Patch 1.39 video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how you can download uh, custom plane skins uh, for War Thunder and how to install them. Uh, the particular site that I am using right now is Nexus Mod slash War Thunder. The link will be in the description below. And I'm going to show you how you can uh, download uh, some of these uh, aircraft. Uh, let's see here. I don't want the uh, Luftwaffe. Let's see. Uh, let's get. Let's see. I don't think I've got any Japanese. So why don't I look at the Japanese here? Um, let's see. Uh, A6. You tell you what. I'll uh, get the A6M5. All right. So all you have to do is once you find the plane like uh, I have, you have to go is go to download and uh, click on the download. Whoops, excuse me, meant to download manual. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna just download it manually. Whoops, wrong thing. Again, uh, so we're going to want to download manually. We're not premium users, so we'll go for normal users. And there we go, it's downloading. Now, uh, one thing that uh, one issue that you might run into when downloading um, aircraft uh, from Nexus, uh, in this case, is that you download it in a .rar file, um, or I believe I'm pronouncing that fine, uh, and um, and that file, this particular file, you could not open by itself. It's not going to allow you to uh, open it, and it's not the correct thing. So you need to find some way. Um, of extracting it as you can see it's saying you know uh, do you want something to open that so one program that you can use is um, and I'll have a uh, link to the description of how to use this and how to download it is 7-zip which is a very easy um, software tool that allows you to unzip .rar files into the uh, files that you need uh, in order to um, uh, unzip the correct files and all you have to do is click it and abstract, hit OK, and then it will extract it for you. All right, and once you have it extracted, you can then go into, let's see here, you can go into computer, program files. For some, if it's a newer uh, computer, it's uh, the x86. For older ones, it's just program files, War Thunder user skins and then all you have to do uh, is move that file actually let's click into it make sure you got the uh, skin template and there you go all you have to do is uh, move the one uh, that is the skin file and then it should show up in game and uh, let's take a look at that in game all right, so now I'm uh, in the game, and now how do you find uh, these skins? All you have to do is click the update user skin. And here we go, Dragon Regiment. Regiment. Or Raiment, as that's pronounced. And then it will um, put the symbols on. Uh, for you, obviously, I do have... Um, Take this off for a moment. I want to get rid of that decal. All right, and there you can see the uh, new paint scheme uh, for the uh, aircraft. Whoops, let me pull back here. There we go. And so that's how you um, download and um, uh, put user skins uh, into the game. Um, and that's going to be it for this video. Please stay tuned um, 
uh, as I am going to have some more tutorials on uh, skins as well as my top 10 Nexus user skins. So please look forward to that. And until next time, everyone, this is Tony for the SimSim channel. Signing out. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys next time.